Hello and welcome back. Today, I'm going to share how I hooked up a nozzle cam to my SV06. Before that, I just want to say that everything I use is listed down in the description if you want to try this out for yourself. However, the camera I used, the endoscope, I'm not sure if there's a major difference in these, but I can't find this specific model that I have anymore. I purchased this maybe 10 years ago, and it's called a YPC Wi-Fi endoscope if you can find one. And as far as these endoscopes on Amazon go, there are some cheaper ones, and I don't think you'll need one with a screen unless you're planning to use it for a different project or something later on. But anyway, I can't vouch for their quality, so it's really up to you which one you want to choose. But if you're using the Solval Clipper screen, just make sure the one you get is a USB Type A because that's what the USB ports are on the screen. And as you can see, I didn't spend a whole lot of time making the wiring look good here. As it is, it really doesn't bother me. Plus, the cable on the camera is pretty stiff, so there's really only so much you can do. And I'm not trying to win any beauty pageants. I'm for functionality over form here. If you only have the one camera, this should automatically start working when you add a webcam in mainsail. But if you have two webcams like I do, there's a couple extra steps you're going to have to take. So, let's just jump right into it. Alright, first off, when you plug in the second camera and add the second camera under webcams, you'll probably see two pictures from the same camera. I'm not sure why that happens, but we're going to fix it by going to the Machine tab on the left. In here, I downloaded the Crow's Nest log file by clicking it over here. We can open that up and leave it in the background for now. But next, I made a duplicate of the Crow's Nest config file by right-clicking it and then clicking Duplicate. You can add a date stamp or a time stamp. This is just in case something goes wrong. You can use this to put it back how it was originally. Anyway, after that, I opened the original Crow's Nest config file and copied the whole text from Cam 1 in brackets all the way down to the bottom line. Then, at the end of the last line, I pressed enter a couple times, and then pasted it. I changed the 1 in CAM1 to CAM2, and I changed it from port 8080 to port 8081. You can also change the resolutions here. But next I opened up the crow's nest log file from earlier and scrolled all the way to the bottom and then back up a little until I saw this line starting with forward slash dev forward slash v41 and the description of the endoscope. I copied everything on this line starting from v41 all the way down to index 0. And then I pasted it on the device line after deleting the video 4 up to the forward slash after dev. Then I went back to the log file and scrolled up a little more where I saw my Logitech cam on a similar line and copied and pasted it under cam 1. Now if we look here at the top, it tells you that port 8081 equals webcam 2, which means we'll need to change something else to get the camera to work. So we can save the crow's nest config and then go to the settings icon up in the top right and down to webcams. If you haven't added the second camera, you can do that now by clicking add webcam at the bottom. In the second camera settings, I added the number 2 after webcam before the forward slash under URL stream and URL snapshot. If it doesn't change right away, come up here and click the power icon and go to reboot. After the reboot, both cameras should be working if you did everything correctly. Okay, and now that I've got both cameras set up, I printed this nozzle cam mount from printables and mounted it on the extruder. After that, I wanted to add a nozzle light because, uh, well, here, I'll just show you. Okay. 
I went through several different iterations before finally settling on remixing this mount designed by Haymo on printables. I finished it up in Fusion 360 and printed it out of PETG. For the LED, I ordered this set of white cob LEDs from Amazon, as well as these 3-pin JST connectors, which uh, there are far more than I'll ever need here. But it is what it is. Very bright. I clip the LEDs on the first cut line because that's more than enough. Then I clip the red wire off of the JST plug because it's not needed. Then I just solder the yellow wire to the positive side of the LED and the black wire to the ground. After that, I peeled the back off of the strip and stuck it down to the print. In order to mount this, I had to remove the two lower screws on the face of the extruder. And then I replaced them with M3 by 20 screws that I had in this pack that I bought also off of Amazon a while ago. After that, I struggled for 15 minutes to try to plug this tiny little plug into the empty spot on the right side of the hot end of the SV-06. What the fudge? And now that it's finally plugged in, I'll turn it on and see if it works. Fingers crossed. Turn a printer on. Hey. She doesn't want to interfere with anything. Just turn the key loose. Okay, and it looks good from here. The clearance is good. Unfortunately, my straight-on view of the nozzle is, uh, well, it's not there anymore. I mean, if I back up, I can kind of see it, but I guess I can just look at the camera anyway. I like looking at the nozzle to make sure there's no clogs or anything. So, again, it is what it is. Let's check it out from the camera's view in mainsail and see how that looks. Nice, it gives off plenty of light and it shows up perfectly in the camera. Let's go ahead and print another cube and check out the time lapse and do a quick comparison of before and after the light was added.
Okay, so in the end, adding a light makes it brighter. Shocking. <clears throat> all right, that's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. I appreciate you tuning in. Catch you in the next one. And as always, have the best day ever. Let's go ahead and print another cube and check out the time lance. Time lance. Under URL stream and URL snapshot. <laughs> <laughs>